What's up guys, uh, Franco here in the Dominican Republic, Coach Dan Hefner of Dallas Baptist University, asking a few questions. Um, obviously we got a great camp going on here and we have, we've had a lot of fun this week. Um, Coach Heath, first, uh, what, what advice would you give a uh, high school ball player out there looking to play at DBU? Uh, I guess first thing is, I mean, DBU is kind of a unique school. Um, similar to every Division One school, we're looking for really talented players. That's uh, we go out and watch games. That's the first thing we're looking for is their baseball talent level. Uh, but we're also looking for great students, and we're looking for kids with um, you know character and, and guys who want to grow in their faith too. So you know, to us, we're kind of looking at the total package. So I guess if a kid would want to play at DBU. Um, he's really got to be focused on all three of those things, you know, maximizing his baseball ability, doing a great job in the classroom, and, um, you know, making sure he's taking care of business there, and then also, um, you know, being a person of high character and, and wanting to be in an environment like DG where you can bring your faith, too. Um, so the, the high school kids said, uh, what's the best way to contact you guys and see if you guys are interested in them as players? Best way, we get a lot of... Um, Almost like a resume where it talks about the, you know, baseball accomplishments. Big things we look at at those. It's pretty tough to look at, you know, high school stats and those things. Um, so we don't really pay attention to a lot of that. But it's really, you know, the academic stuff. We do kind of. That's kind of the first filter we go through. Is if if the test score is too low or the grades aren't good, we really don't even consider those. Um, and, and then the next thing is, you know, if the grades are good, um, video is really the best thing you can do. Is just and it doesn't have to be great. It doesn't have to be anything professionally done. If it's just even, you know, three to five minutes where we can see you throw, see you hit, and kind of just put eyes to um, who you are, that helps a lot. And then that's kind of our first way of seeing it. And then if, if, if something intrigues us there, another good thing to do is to put references on your sheet, you know, coaches that you've played for. Um, you know, if, if you have a professional scout who might recommend you, and then we can start checking on those references. And if we kind of pass it, if the grades are good, if we like how you look on video and we've called some references and everything checks out, then the next thing we're going to do is going to try to come out and see you play in person. And do you receive a lot of videos in the mail or is it better like uh, through email with uh, YouTube? Both. We used to get them a lot more in the mail, but now it's a lot, it's pretty easy just to do it you know, through email and, and video. And that way it's just instant. I mean, we can just, we open it up, boom, click on it, and we can watch it right away. And that's where my recommendation there is just keep it short, you know, because we're not going to watch a 20-minute video. Um, you can really see what we need to see, and, you know, really the first 10 swings, you kind of have an idea. And first 10 throws, you have a pretty good idea. So it doesn't have to be anything long and, and really well done, just so we can kind of get Videos practice is fun. Right? For sure. Or, yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to be a game. Yeah, great. Um, now, how would, how would you define a winning ball player? Um, to us, I guess a, a winning ball player, I guess I'll kind of say what, what we hope our players would be like is that they, number one, have a tremendous work ethic, uh, just kind of a never quit mentality. They're just going to have the ability to grind it out and keep working and maximize their ability. Um, to me, that's kind of you know step one in a winning ball player is you got to be a grinder. Um, you know, second thing is is you know you got to be a team guy. You got to be all about what's the best thing that I can do for my team, and it always just seems to work out. The guys who focus more on the team it ends up working well for them as individuals too. Um, you know, to us, you know, so a winning guy, he's a grinder. He works hard. He's humble, so he's all about the team. He's coachable, um, and he just he's a tough kid. You've been at DB for eight years now. Five as the head coach. Uh, what's been your your on field baseball highlight so far? It might be a softball question, but on field baseball highlight was yeah. was is definitely. I mean, my first year as a head coach, uh, we made a regional. We were the number two seed in the College Station regional, and that was a huge highlight. First time an independent team other than Miami had done it in 20 years or something like that. Um, so, so that was a huge highlight that first year, but you know, obviously this last year topped it when we you know, got another at-large bid. Uh, we were in the Fort Worth Regional, and to win that region, we beat Oklahoma in extra innings. Uh, we were down to our, our last strike. We were down 3-2. to two. 
or I think two to one going into the in the ninth inning. Two outs, two strikes, guy on second base, we get a hit, tied it up, we ended up winning an extra innings. Um, and then uh, game two we beat TCU and then we lost our third game to Oral Roberts and then beat him in the, the second championship game. Um, so that was obviously the, the biggest highlight so far of our time at EBU is you know to make that regional and then to be fortunate enough to go on and win it and play in a super regional. Um, last, last question, what, uh, what, what, if you give uh, aspiring baseball players out there one piece of advice to take their game to the next level? That's a tough question, obviously. Work ethic, but I think one thing we've seen in our program, uh, to really achieve your maximum potential, yeah, you've got to have a great work ethic. And, um, you know, you got great coaching and baseball ability and all those things, but, but we really feel like having a proper perspective on life is really going to help you um, reach your full potential as well. And, and just to, it just takes pressure off when you know, yeah, we're going to give everything we have to the game of baseball. We want to be the best team we can be individually. We want to be the best player that we can be. But ultimately, we know that's not the be-all, end-all for us. And there's something bigger and more important than that, and that's our relationship with Christ. And, um, I really feel like that frees our guys up to, to play to their full potential when they know it's not this game or this season or my baseball career is not everything for me. Um, and I really feel like um, we're really fortunate where we're at that we get to talk about those things, but it's not something that's unique to Dallas Baptist. That's something that's universal for everybody that we're offered a relationship with Christ that applies to whatever we do as a baseball player, whatever we're going to do after that for a career or a family or anything. Yeah. Um, I like last question. Highlight in the Dominican. We've been here for a little less than a week. Uh, had a lot of great opportunities. Played some really, really talented teams. Um, what's been a highlight for you that you'll keep with you uh, in, the, in, the, in the future? Um, two highlights for me. One is um, yesterday when we played the Lise team and they had, I think, five big leaguers on the team and a number, of, I mean, you know, we're, our, one of our best pitchers on the mound, I think he went first pitch 94 miles an hour and it just got, bam, double in the left center gap and then next hitter doubled him in and it was like, you know, pretty obvious just that the, the talent level of these guys and how slow the game is for them and how easy they make it look was really impressive and uh, definitely some stuff that we've learned by playing uh, it, it's almost a different style of baseball too that I think we can really learn from. Um, that's been a highlight for me, but you know the other highlight, just equally as big as that, is to be able to do these clinics um, to see how our guys interact with the players and um, to be able to, you know, there's a language barrier, but you got a common bond in baseball. But then more important than that, to use uh, baseball to be able to share with them what. Um, about our relationship with Christ and what that means to us and, and to share the gospel with them. And we know that um, you know, that's something that we all need and um, that, that you know, kids here need to hear it and know it just as much as kids in the United States. And, but, but even more than that, I, I guess another highlight, so I've got three highlights, um, is seeing that, you know, that's not something that we just have a... You know, in the United States, it's like we've got Christianity figured out in relationship with Christ. We got to go to a church here on Sunday night um, and to see their passion and their um, their faith was very inspiring for us and very challenging too. Um, so that was another highlight for me during this trip. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. Déjeme después tirar una foto a la muchacha. ¿Dónde están allá? Platicando, la chica. A ver. Eh, 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 eh